Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm the Urban and Public Affairs Librarian at Portland State University Library. I'm making this video to kind of walk you through this course guide um, for your class environmental health. In this class, typically when it's taught in person, I have a session with you all in the library. This term that's not happening because we're all working and learning remotely. You might notice that I have a sleeping cat on my lap and lots of ha house plants behind me. Um, I created a course guide that will help you all in uh, successfully completing your research project for this class. Um, you'll notice on the top of the page you're, there are some certain tabs, and those are meant to support you in doing the steps of the project. On the Choose a Topic tab, you'll find links to reference works, handbooks, and encyclopedias, as well as some databases like CQ Researcher and Opposing Viewpoints. Those are going to be resources that will help you choose a topic. They broadly talk about topics, so they're not the in-depth research articles, but it's kind of like a broad overview. And that's going to be helpful when you're choosing topics. You'll notice an ebooks tab. Books are also a great way to find information. Sometimes in ebooks uh, or any other academic book, one chapter will serve as an article. So don't feel like you have to read the entirety of a book if you find something relevant. Um, on the articles and more page, you'll find links to article databases. And this is where you're going to find a lot of the peer reviewed literature. So the peer reviewed literature is a little bit different than the reference works. Peer reviewed literature is more granular. Um, a lot of times. And those are going to be sources that you're going to want to also have on your annotated bibliography for your project. So take a look in there. You'll also notice that I've linked to some websites. I know that you can use websites for your research project. When you approach web websites, you do need to think critically about them, however. Websites don't undergo peer review. So make sure you're thinking critically. There's the data and statistics page, which links to some of the library subscribed content, but it also links to some free websites with um, data and statistics. If you really like maps, you might take a look at Policy Map. Policy Map has also added some really cool uh, data that's helpful for our current COVID-19 crisis, such as the um, number of hospital beds or ICU beds that are available, so take a peek at it. And then on the annotated bibliographies page, uh, there's a short video that uh, is for me talking about annotated bibliographies, what they are, um, and how they're different from abstracts. So it might be very helpful if you've never had to write an annotated bibliography. You'll also notice that this video uh, for annotated bibliographies was recorded for a different class, but it still works for this one. So don't be confused by that different class number. And then finally, you'll have the Citing Sources page and the Get Help page. On the Citing Sources page, there's a fun video, also like four minutes long. If you happen to like um, Frank Ocean, Beyonce, Rihanna, you know, give it a peek. It might be fun, a better way to kind of learn about Citing Sources, giving credit to those whose work that you're citing and that have influenced you. And then finally, on the Get Help page, you'll find options for trying to navigate the library and getting help with library resources. You'll also find my email address and a way to contact me. I am more than happy to help you over email. So please don't, don't hesitate. Send me a note. It might take me a few days to get back to you, but I will get to you. So um, plan ahead if you need help accessing stuff. You can always try the chat. But if you email me, just expect a few days. Good luck on your research assignment. I hope I hear from some of you all. Um, and take care of yourselves and your families and your little your, your little creatures while you're while you're learning from home this term. Bye. <laughs>